Hello everyone and welcome back to more mail. Two episodes. This one and the next one. One knee and then two knees. One knee, other knee. One knee, other knee. One knee, one knee, one knee. Boom. First letter. Edson, Alberta, in Canada. I just want to point out there's a really cool stamp on here with a snake and it's embossed. That's creepy. You guys can kind of see that. There's a little snake. And it sticks out and, and it has texture. And it's embossed you can touch it. How's that song go by um, Duran Duran? Um, something of the snake. Gosh, how's that song go? Dang it. It's a song by Duran Duran, and it's it's um, something of the snake. Read this first. I'll remember. You guys remind me because it's going to bother me. Dear Stephen Amell, my name is William, and I have been watching you guys for a while now. I love watching your vlogs and not to mention your gaming videos. When you upload a mail video, I always watch them and haven't missed one yet. You guys get some really cool stuff. I realized the other day that I have never in my life written a letter to anyone before, so I thought, who better to write than my favorite vloggers? So here, I am writing to you. Sorry if this is the sort of an odd letter because I am new to this. I hope you guys are having an awesome day. Sincerely, William Spear Games. Spear is S-P-E-R-E, -E, for reference. And it says, P.S. I love your cat vlogs. And P.P.S. What is the coolest thing you have ever gotten in the mail from a viewer? Um, that's hard, because there's been a few cool things. Oh, uh, that's, I mean, that's... That's really difficult because, like, there's the the mother two figurines. I, I and mean, there's so, movies, and there's, books. And I mean, there's been occasions where we've gotten, you know, you know, big boxes. Actually, last mail, you know, yeah. episode we had, you know, a, a huge box full of things, and it, I think it'd be really easy to point out one of those. And those are incredibly generous. You know, uh, what Stephanie sent us last time, um, what uh, Derek sent us uh, a while back around the time of PAX East where he sent all those mother figurines was incredible. Um, Joel in the past has repeatedly sent us um, amazing stuff. Um, you know, one of my favorite things that we've ever gotten in the mail, it wasn't even really for Stephen Mail, was whenever we talked to those, um, or when, when I had talked to the uh, kids in Taiwan and they sent us that nice little... Oh yeah, with um, the cups. Yeah, they're and, actually... Yeah, they're actually up there, they're right out of frame. Yeah. Um, and that wasn't even for like a mail video or anything, but they sent us that and I just, that was really nice. Mm -hmm. Like they didn't even, they didn't even have to do that. And it was like authentic Taiwanese cups. I don't know. Tea cups. Tea cups. I just thought that was really, that was cool. really neat. Anyway, um, William also has a picture. And so Stephen plays memorable moments, Shadow of the Colossus number 11. He has no fear. And it says, you weak human arrows make me happy. This is from, um, that's a turtle. It's not supposed to be a Colossus. Uh, in episode 11, I actually have an arrow and I'm sh uh, or a bow and I'm shooting at the little turtles that mm -hmm. are in the, the game. And they're indestructible. You know, you can kill the Colossus. You have to scale the Colossus and stab the sigil. It's impossible to kill the turtles. A lot of people don't even know turtles are in that game. I didn't. Yeah, they, and they show up randomly. Something I, I showed in, in one of the bonus episodes. Anyway, uh, William, thank you so much for the letter. Move on to the next letter, which is from... Casey in Henderson, Nevada. Dear Stephen Amell, I've been watching you guys since Tree of My Youth and Fobbies Are Orange, so it surprised me to discover the vlog about 400 days in around the pen and paper Minecraft day. So far, I've enjoyed your lovely life, and it's exciting to know that Life after college and marriage can be so exciting. Each day is practically a memorable moment in itself, and I enjoy watching Stephen vlog and Stephen plays. I hope uh, to see more wonderful days ahead. Your viewer, Casey. Well, thank you, Casey. Casey also sends along a really cool picture of my team, actually. This is, uh, it says, thanks for watching. Now let's move back to Mars, shall we? And it's me. And uh, it might be a little difficult to see, but you can actually- it's The team is we drew them. Yeah, actually. Oh man, I didn't even think about that. Is it bad that now I'm getting used to the fact that this is what Pokemon should look like? Like, I didn't even bat an eye that the the, the pigeon is a bowling ball. Like, you guys can see, like, the pigeon up here is, like, drawn as a, uh, a bowling ball. And um, Lapras is Tessie. And there's Greg with his peg leg. I didn't notice until I saw... Um, oh, the Gyarados mm -hmm. that Alex did. And there's Jitters and uh, Alakazam. Love it. Absolutely love it. Casey, thank you so much. I really appreciate that. That's awesome. It's also really sad that I did not know this. I was like, yeah, Pokemon are supposed to look like that. That Nidoking? Yeah, that's what he looks like. Anyway, Casey, I do appreciate it. 
Uh, the next letter is from Luke in Three Rivers, Massachusetts. Hello, Stephen Mao. My name is Luke. My YouTube is The Fuchsia Fox. I recently got partnered with the RPM Network. Welcome to the RPM Network. We're kind of in the same group. RPM and TGS are both with Maker, so we're both part of Maker. Anyway, right now I am doing an LP of Hyperdimension Neptunia. Anyway, I was wondering a few things. Do you have any tips for doing LPs? I have the video recording down and the editing, but have troubles with the commentary. Um, practice. I know it seems like a very cliche thing to, to say, but really practice makes perfect. And doing commentary is just like any other skill. If you practice and you do it more and more, you actually do get better. Maybe I, even taking like an improv class. Yeah, that's something I don't always recommend people, but like especially if they're in college. Your, your college, you know, sometimes offers speech classes or improv classes, and those can be super, super helpful. Um, and there's there's improv classes around. We have one in our mall. Yeah, like the cities have improv classes. That's actually a really good idea. That's a good idea. That's really smart. Thanks. That's a good. She's right. She's absolutely right because it, it comes down to being able to improvise well. Some people do that really well. Some people struggle with it a little bit, but that's actually a really helpful skill. Good job, Mal. Thank you. A plus. Anyway. Um, I am a huge brony, which is a fan of My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. Are you a brony? Uh, if not, have you seen the show? Um, we are not bronies. We have seen the show. Um, it, there's actually a vlog about it called, like, I think it's called My Little Pony. Um, there's, I think there's actually two different vlogs about it where we asked viewers to recommend episodes we should watch, and we watched some, and we didn't hate the show. It was just we didn't really get the... Uh, the draw of the show, and it, it has such a huge fan base, a fan base of, you know, people that are our age and older, and we just didn't really get it. And we watched all of the episodes that people recommended. Um, we told ourselves that eventually we'd go back and watch, like, stuff in season two, because people would recommend we watch, you know, other stuff. Um, it seems like a good show. It's just not something that really appealed to us. But, I mean, if you watch it, whatever. I mean, there's a lot of people that hate on bronies that hate on people for watching or, or enjoying something and that's stupid like if you want to watch it then watch it anyway um it says uh since you are an astronomy fan i thought i should say i am an astrophysics major in college and i wanted to tell you there are 30 major planets in our solar system mercury venus earth mars ceres uh jupiter saturn uranus neptune pluto eris chaos varuna ixion uh Rodomant Rodomanthus, Huga. Uh, Typhon, Quirar, uh, Ducalon, Logos, Cito, Boros, Sisi, Sila, Nunum, uh, Teherano, Huwako, I'm getting some of these wrong, Sedna, Orcus, Selassia, Hemio, or Hamie, uh, Make Make, and Algira. Turn the page. Uh, there are 30 in case you were uh, you were curious. I have seen every vlog you have done and most enjoyed the ones with Emil. Anyways, I know this is probably asking too much, but I was wondering if you could check out a couple of my LP videos. I look for any feedback I can get, but never get any. So I don't know how my videos are and thought you would be able to help since you have a lot more experience. Sincerely, Luke, uh, the Fuchsia Fox, and says, P.S. I live in Three Rivers, Massachusetts. P.P.S. To see how much mail you have, I wrote this on Thursday, May 30th, which is Stephen Mail 49. Well, actually, the mail videos aren't a good indication. The date is fine, but the mail, <laughs> mail videos are so sporadic. They're like, meow, meow, meow. Um, it says, PPPS, have an amazing day. PPPPS, I uh, also wanted to send you these ponies. The pink one's Pinkie Pie, the gold one is Applejack, and the clear one is Rarity. All special edition, too. Well, first off, Luke, thank you very much for the letter. And I could have told you the names. I struggled with Applejack because it was gold. And it didn't have that. It has the hat. apples on it. I know. I know. I know Applejack and Pinkie Pie. See, I knew Rarity first off. Well, Rarity. She was my. Rarity favorite. is the one that I had forgotten because people had like quizzed us on the ponies once, and like Rarity was the one I couldn't remember, because the other one is the other ones are Twilight Sparkle and um, ah Rainbow Dash. Rainbow Dash. I was thinking like Rainbow One. <laughs> Rainbow Dash. There's five, right? No, there's six. Is there six? There's six. Who are we forgetting? Or is there five? I think there's six. Who's the other one? Rare, rare, I'm trying to think of every, every stereotype I can. You've got the smart one, which is Twilight Sparkle. You've got the I'm High Flutin'. 
rarity, you have the country girl Applejack, the the dumb blonde Pinkie Pie, the um, sporty the the, Rainbow Dash. the tomboy um, Rainbow Dash. What, is there another one, or is there only five? There are five Spice Girls. That counts for them. <laughs> There's five Spice Girls. Therefore, there are five. <laughs> My Little Ponies. I don't remember what the. That other... makes this one posh spice. And this one. I'm uh, done. All right, we're done here. <laughs> um, anyway, Luke, thank you very much. We're gonna move on to the next level. Leather. Can I call it a leather? I don't know. I don't know if there's a letter in it. Don't ask me how this happened. It's from Michael in Easton, Pennsylvania. The U.S. Postal Service actually put a cereal box through the mail. Yeah. It says, this is my favorite cereal on the front. So they I'm assuming this is Michael's favorite cereal. Crave double and, chocolate. And the people at our post office had comments for me. Really? What'd they, they say? They were like, someone thinks you need some chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, uh, I don't need that much sugar. If it's just, a, if it was just a box of cereal, I would lose my mind. I think that's what they thought it was. Yeah. Oh. It would be awesome if people do No, it yeah, wouldn't. Don't, don't mail a cereal. Don't do that. No, don't do it. Um, wow. This is... There's a lot of stuff here. All right. At the very top of this letter, for whatever reason, I mean, unbeknownst to me, it says, Pandas at the Marshmallow Zoo. Sounds like a good song you could write. Dear Billy, Stephen, and Mao. <laughs> I love this already. I love your videos. I watch them a lot. I found you through Tiger Conroy's revisit to Pikmin 2. All right, I knew that video was good for something. <laughs> I love Little Big Planet 2, Minecraft, and Skyrim. I also watch your vlogs; they are very funny, especially when they have wacky titles like "What am I going to do with all this poison?" I also love watching memorable moments. One of my favorite ones is "Oh piss my retirement fund." Priceless. I also love food and think that Sagan and Kepler are adorable. You have, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> with <laughs> with their subjects in that sentence, it makes it sound like the cats are food. <laughs> I also love food and think that Sagan and Kepler are delicious. Uh, you have the best vlog for me. I also do Let's Plays, or as I call them, playthroughs. My name on YouTube is The Serious Dasher. Serious is like S-I-R-I-U-S, not Serious Dasher. Enclosed, you will find some artwork and a few Mario Kart Wii trading cards. Split them up between the two of you. Hi, Mal! It's bolded. You are awesome, random, and funny. You are the perfect LP. -er. Now, I have a few questions. Number one, Stephen, are you a brony? Well, we just answered that, so I guess we can move on. Number two, Stephen, do you like the Grateful Dead? I pity the fool who doesn't like the Grateful Dead. Number three, Stephen, have you ever played Crash Bandicoot? Um, no, actually. That's another one that's probably a great candidate for first 20. We did um, Spyro the Dragon not too recently, um, and that's the same, same thing. Like, I played a demo of Crash Bandicoot, and that's it. My cousins uh, had it. It was a popular game. Like, if you had this PlayStation, you had Crash Bandicoot. Yeah, my cousin Ryan had it. <laughs> but I didn't have I didn't have a PlayStation. Number four, Mal, have you ever considered starting your own channel? I really just don't have time. And if I did something, more people would see it if it was on Steven's channel anyway. Yeah, it just makes more sense to n not continue to expand. Number five, Steven and or Mal, did you ever catch Victini in Pokemon Black or White? I have, but I don't use it much. We do not have Pokemon Black or White. Sadly. Uh, number six, Mal, do you like Harry Potter? Very much. I like how they ask you and not me. Maybe it's because they know that I, I'm, I'm not a huge Harry Potter fan. And number seven, Mal, what is your favorite book? Also because they know I don't read. Um, I have lots of books I'd like. I don't know if I have like a set favorite. You have like, what, what are some of your favorites that you um, really enjoyed? The Time Traveler's Wife, Ender's Game, um, Howl's Moving Castle, the book, was really good. Cool. Thank you guys so much for reading this, and I really hope this makes it to Steven Mail. It did! Also, I think you guys should really do a Mario U LP if slash when you get a Wii U. You guys are the best. Sincerely, Michael. To the Batmobile! And it says, P.S. I'm on day 10 of the journey. Well, good! <laughs> you have a ways to go, but good job. You Man, when someone is on day 10, they're literally less than one one hundredth of the way through the videos. That's almost There's sick. Billy. Billy is watching you. There's Billy. What you doing back there, Billy? Oh, Billy can't hear us because he was not given ears on his drawing. Then we have some uh, some art here. It says Argyle versus Steve. 
And uh, Argyle is wearing his special Argonian underpants, which gives him an advantage. Steve is a, uh, a meme from uh, Emile's oh. Pikmin LP. And we have a Charmander with a Fez. Fezes are cool. Never gonna do it without the Fez on. Boo -hoo -boo -boo. Oh no. Some Steely Dan for you. And then we have... I don't know what this is. I recognize it, but I don't know what it's from and what it is. I don't know what this is. Isn't it the Disney, Disney character? Phineas and Ferb? I thought the F Phineas and Ferb were like two males. Yeah, but don't they have like a pet platypus? Maybe. I'm really unfamiliar. I've never seen the show. So I'm pulling from the depths of like the advertising that Disney has shoved down my throat on a billboard somewhere. Like that's, that's all I know. Kind of looks like a, like a, a platypus. Well, I know it's a platypus. beaver. It's probably a platypus. Well, I don't know. It kind of looks like a side dog. A little bit. But blue instead of yellow. Anyway, um, also included are these cards. We've got the Koopa Troopa, the Baby Mario, the Toad. This is a Shell Cup and the Special Cup. These aren't people. Banana Cup, um, Triple Red Shells, Blooper, and Lightning Cloud. Bloop, bloop. Oh, for a minute I thought these were like act like a card game, but they're they're trading cards. I think there actually was a card game made with Mario Kart. I think there was. I'm almost positive there was at some point. Maybe I'm remembering incorrectly. Anyway, Michael, thank you for all of the things. We're gonna move on to the last thing for today. Timothy in Colville, Washington. Timothy is in Washington, and he wants to send us some things. Timothy is in Washington, and this is what he says. Dear Stephen Amal, how are you? Me? I'm doing good. In this package are some magic cards and an 8 gig flash drive, so enjoy. The flash drive will have some photos. The photos will be of me, my dog, and my grandma before she passed away. Um, oh, and I am also adding my high school graduation pick. Please enjoy those cards. Sincerely, Timothy. Well, thank you, Timothy. Um, and we have the Magic the Gathering cards here in a little separate envelope thing. And inside is, it's a, it's a booster pack. It's, well, it's open. And there's some cards inside. Celestial Purge, Vampire Outcast, Blood Ogre, and Manic Vandal. So a few random magic cards. And it says, Mint Condition NFL Pro Bowl Series 2 1990 cards. Goodness gracious. Let's open this up. Tape is my enemy. And inside is... Some 1990, oh man, the 90s are back. The 90s are back, baby. There's a lot of cards in here. It's weird because I identify era by design. I think it's because I, I had to focus so much on design at school, even being a film student. Like, you have to focus on design because it's part of art. And uh, you really, like, you can date things just by looking at a design, or like, if you're looking at a print article, you can see how it looks and, you know, date it. And then uh, right here is the flash drive, which, oh lord, it is taped very securely. And I am actually, I'm not sure I'm going to get this. Uh, oh, I have, found, I have found a weak point in its defenses. And now it will be, it will be opened unto me. It is really wrapped tight. It is wrapped very, very tightly. It is wrapped, I got it! Wow, that's little. They're making them tiny these days. Thing is an eight gig flash drive. That is crazy. Cruiser Edge. And there's a bunch of uh, interesting pictures and stuff on that. Timothy. One more thing. Oh. What? What? A Hoppage Win TV HVR 1800 white box 1129 PCI Express X1 interface TV tuner card. Timothy sent us a PCI card. Be interesting. It actually uh, it takes in um, uh, RF uh, uh, coaxial for television. Interesting. It takes uh, yeah TV in, FM in. Uh, it's got uh, stereo left and right. Cool. Wow. I was not expecting that. Interesting. Thank you very much. So now we can record television on the computer. Uh, anyway, Timothy, thank you for all of that. I was not expecting such a variety of things, actually. Like, 
Magic cards, which are not that unheard of, but then you have like 1990 Pro Bowl cards, a flash drive of photos, and I can never, I, I could say safely that we've never had one of these. Like this is, this is new. Anyway, Timothy, I do appreciate it. Um, for everyone who sent in something today, thank you very much. Hi, kitty. Bye, kitty. Um, if you'd like to send something, you can. Go over to the channel page, go to the About tab, uh, click on that, and you will find the address. Let's put that down there. Uh, and you can send us stuff. Folks. One more? One more. One more. Next episode of Steven Mail may not be the best mail. It may not be the most exciting thing. But it will be the last episode of Stephen Mail in this old format. Stephen Mail will continue, but we are doing a new format. And next episode is the last one. Come, we've come a long way. We've come a long way. Join me tomorrow for the last episode of Stephen Mail. Mal's also here, so I'm sorry. Join Mal tomorrow. I won't even be in it. I'll just no. you just do it. You'll do it. You'll you, be you, fine. You. I'll just come. I'll just walk by every once in a while and do this. No. I think they'd like that. How long do you think I could do this before I pass out?